There's a big problem when it comes to equality. And you wouldn't think that this would be the issue with equality that we'll be discussing today in age. But no, it is. It is. And this story has led me to this. And it's very disturbing. It's very disturbing. So um, a Memphis woman breaks in and attacks ex-boyfriend, new girlfriend, while they sleep. All right. So, so police say a woman broke into her ex-boyfriend's home and assaulted the man and his new girlfriend with a knife. The man told police the couple was sleeping when India Foster broke into his home in the 700 block of Rosemark Road. He told police he woke to find Foster in his bedroom with a knife. The man said he was cut multiple times on the hand, arm, and chest. The man's girlfriend was also cut on the bridge of her nose, according to the court records. Investigators said Foster, a 21-year-old mother of two, was able to force open a window and cut the screen to get inside. See, as she is charged with two counts of aggravated assault and one count of aggravated burglary. Foster was released from jail on a $5,000 bond. So I read this just a moment ago. I read this for the first time just a moment ago. And I went to the comment section. And um, and it was really interesting to say the least. Free sis. This dude puts a heart on his face emoji. Person like crying and laughing. Person said she's smiling too hard. It has to be more to the story. Yeah, it has to be, right? Yeah, yeah. She's so happy on the picture. Like, hey... Y'all, yeah, I did that. Nuts. Yeah, okay. Understood. It's a smile for me laughing, you know. And I'm going to do it again. Okay? Free sis. And she'll do it again laughing. It's a smile for me laughing. Yes, girl, smile. You showed them. She understood the assignment. Why is this funny? Why is this funny? When I seen this post, I, I, I seen a girl. She looked fucking crazy as hell. She looked out of her fucking mind. Never did it pop into my mind like... A funny thought to laugh about this shit. Nothing in my mind thought to laugh about this shit. You know what? You know what? I want to do a juxtaposition for you guys. I want to do a juxtaposition. Let's go do this. Pregnant mom fatally shot at the baby shower while breaking up fight between ex and baby daddy. We need to start having a discussion about men and how they handle rejection. Because this didn't have to happen. Wow. Every day the world gets more sad. It's a beyond tragic pain for her children immediately. Dang, man, so sad, very sad. I'm praying for the family. That's so foul, shaking my head, not hate when they say baby daddy. It was the father of her child or current boyfriend, etc. They only do that with us. Women and children are being killed by the gun. Violence more than ever nowadays. I don't ever want anybody to love me that hard. Rest in peace to the souls. It's always those crazy exes with that if I can't have you, no one will. I don't want to see you happy if it's not me mentally. Rest in peace, beautiful. There's no one in this, in this comment section over here laughing at the matter. I don't see no free bro over here in this comment section. Free bra. I ain't seeing none of that over here. This is bullshit. That behavior, that behavior on the other end, on the other side of the spectrum, should not be laughed at. Kiki key. You don't kiki key about fucking assault. You don't kiki key about no bullshit like this. Stop with the one way correction. Stop with the one way aggression and act like it's fucking okay. Because if a nigga came in this comment section saying, free bro, I feel him no. If my ex move on to fuck another nigga, I'm going to kill that nigga too. Nobody can come in this comment section and say that shit. Everybody would be on a fucking head if they came in this comment section or talking about some free bro. Why do y'all think it's okay? It makes no fucking sense. Grow the fuck up. It makes no damn sense. Grow the hell up, man.